So I've started up the ActiFit 9000 connected to the computer with the USB cable. So if I want to do some fit testing, the first thing I'd want to do is go into a validation check, which is basically your, your daily check. I can see that it connected uh, to the computer no problem. Now I've had it where I've gone in to do the validation check and you actually have to go into the ActiFit to the communication uh, section and hit connect the first time, but um, it seems to be connecting no problem uh, after you do it the first time. And you can see I've got one ActiFit connected, but I could have up to four, so I'd be able to test four people at a time. So I don't have a particle generator running, uh, the uh, humidifier running with a salt tablet. So let's just try and see if we have enough background particles. So I can already tell I only need about a thousand. So I've got um, enough. Now some are set to a minimum of 2000 just to make sure that you have enough. Now it, you've just followed the instructions. So it checked there's enough particles in there to do the fit testing. I'm gonna put the uh, epic filter on. So now it's gonna do a zero check. So again, this is mostly just to show you how uh, how this works. You can see with the HEPA filter on, we're getting zero particles coming in, so we should get a good zero check. It's pretty quick as far as going through uh, each sequence here. The last part might take a while because it actually calculates the maximum fit factor. Now, this is a good practice to do your verification check each day, maybe uh, the alcohol has gone bad, uh, so you may not get enough particles to do the testing. Um, the, there might be an issue with the tubing or a leak somewhere, and if there was a leak, we'd, uh, we'd have a problem with the zero check. So before you get a bunch of people waiting to do fit tests, you'd want to run through this. This is actually gonna take a while. So. Anyway, it's, this goes through, this there should be no problem, it's just calculating the, uh, the final uh, maximum fit factor check value. Uh, I'm gonna stop it just in the, but it, it would come up and say successful and then you'd be able to start doing the fit test. So if I stop that. Okay, so the fit test, it's actually prompting me to do the validation check. But, um, okay, so, I have my, to do the fit test, I've got the CSA protocol, put my initials in, I'm going to pick a person to test, the respirator is this one, and the mass size, it's a medium. Let's see here, and these are all our, our um, exercises that we're gonna go through. So if I hit, and now I could add new people from here or new respirators. If I hit start, you'd see how it's, uh, it's going through. It, you can see this progress bar. It's measuring the background. Now it's switching and it's starting to measure the mask. Usually with this, I can tell in the first exercise, if this is very close to zero, um, they're very low, then you know you have a good fit. If it's bouncing around and it's fairly high, you know that there's some leaks, so it's not even worth continuing. You wanna take it off and, um, and take the respirator off, shut down and uh, or turn off the, stop the fit test basically and readjust the mask. So you can see we have a really huge uh, fit factor because I'm, I've still have the HEPA filter hooked up. Now, so I'll stop this as well, because it's gonna go through, it'll go through each exercise. You can see that it's green if it's, uh, if it's uh, a pass. We're, we're with this mask, with a half face respirator, it's only a pass mark of 100. So um, at the end, you can slightly fail one of the tests and still have an overall pass. Even though it's probably, it's not really great practice because if someone's failing on, you know, coming close to 100, uh, the pass mark, you probably want to see if you can get a better fit. So I'm going to start, stop this. And I can also have a real time mode. So if, if you're having problems getting a mask to fit, you can do this. Okay, basically, instead of making it um, 
in the test, the fit test where there's all the steps, it's a real time monitoring of the fit factor. Just takes a couple of seconds to get going here. But um, it's nice because if the person being tested is getting nervous about passing, uh, this, uh, this takes it out of being a test and it's just like a real time monitor. So you can see we have a very high fit factor. If I pull off the HEPA filter, you'll see, or this basically is simulating a leak in the mask, you can see how it very, very quickly drops. So as you're adjusting the respirator on someone's face, you want that line on the graph, this graph, to be going up as the fit gets better. So I just put the filter back on, and you can see that it's uh, you know very quick. It's giving the real-time reading right here. So I'll stop this.